You know, this is the beauty of French cooking when you do it classically. That's when you take the bone. That's when you brown it. That's when you do a reduction. Mm -hmm. That's when you do all of that and serve it. Remember, you do that with the beef. The Maison Française is the oldest cultural center on an American campus. It was built in 1913, so over 100 years old at this point. And we offer a variety of events and activities around French and Francophone culture and history. And by building this new kitchen, it's the last phase of a renovation, we are able to add to our educational activities events focused on food and cooking, on culinary history and tradition. So we're inaugurating our new kitchen with French chef Jacques Pépin, who is here and going to be doing a cooking demonstration of a few recipes from one of his cookbooks called Essential Pépin. I move my knife in a kind of jigsaw fashion, you know, and my knife is not horizontal, is not uh, perpendicular or horizontal, it's about 45 degree too. Jacques in his book, in his autobiography, mentions that when he was here at Columbia, many years ago, the idea of incorporating food into an academic discipline was absolutely forbidden. Nobody would buy it, that you could treat food seriously as a subject of history, of literature, or just treat it as a subject in and of itself that really mattered. I've been on that campus so many years, from 1951 to 1972. So at that time, in general study, I did a BA, and uh, eventually I did a master in literature, 18th century and I propose as my doctoral dissertation an history of French food, starting in the 16th century with the Pléiade poet, Ronsard and others, up to post early 20th century. And they look at me and say, are you crazy, food? <laughs> you know? So eventually uh, the world has changed, certainly the world of cooking. I mean, 30, 40 years ago, any good mother would have wanted their child to marry a, a lawyer, a doctor, uh, an architect, certainly not a cook. Now we are genius. He goes so across his leg and makes him happy. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of interest in food and cooking in the United States and in France to build educational activities around food and cooking that would be open to students on campus but also to the broader public coming from New York. And so we're really marking here at the Maison Française, I think, not just a wonderful evening with Jacques Pepin, but a whole transformation in our way of thinking about food and the human relation to it. Right, but I mean, look at the stuffing that I did. I had a bit of bread, I had a couple of slices of uh, cheese and a piece of ham. You know, if I would have spinach, sometimes I do it with spinach, saute and, and cheese.